Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Aries the Emperor here back with another general reading for the Aries Collective. 12 p.m. on the clock, okay? If you are new here, welcome. This is an all Aries channel. For all Aries placements, cross watchers are welcome as well. Please take in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with everyone. So just simply take what does, leave what does not, place the gender roles where they need to be for you. This is energy. Energy is all fluid, okay? So I just wanted to pop in on here uh, really quickly. Um, I will be working on personal readings for a majority of the day, but I didn't want to leave you guys out on a reading. So we are going to pull some random messages because we never pull random messages. Okay. If you would like to connect with me, I'll leave all my info in the description box. If you'd like to book a personal or shop the candle shop. Okay. Um, and to those who have book readings, like I mentioned, I have sent out some already and I will be corresponding with you guys back and forth. So make sure you have the correct email address up for me when you purchase your item. Okay. All right. A few cards just popped out and thank you guys to those who like and subscribe to the channel, um, and donate to the channel, especially all my day ones who have been here with me from the start and those who are joining us welcome okay i i couldn't be more grateful to, to to be here with you guys okay and to say that ace of pentacles is what we gonna start the reading off with because you guys are everything okay and somebody i'm talking to has a very pure heart and you a you deserve all things you know that are abundant all blessings from the most high here. We have the Knight of Cups. This is Virgo energy. We I'm sorry, not Virgo energy. This is Capricorn. Um, it's this earth energy here. This is Pisces, Scorpio, um, Cancer. Where's my mind? All right, we have the Eight of Wands here, Sagittarius energy. The Emperor, Aries energy, big Aries energy, all right? Not the little one. Five of Pentacles. Now we have Capricorn energy here. Six of Cups, Scorpio energy, okay? This is giving me like rags of riches, uh, rags of riches, <laughs> rags of riches, like... Hard times don't last long. I saw somebody write that in the in the comments, you know. Tough times don't last long. Tough people do. Shout out to you who wrote that in the comments, okay? This is what this is giving me, okay? Five of Pentacles. Um, it's like maybe you took a loss, um, a financial hit, but Ace of Pentacles is going to be your comeback here in, into the Nine of Cups. You know, something that you are going to be able to handle with a whole mind and something I feel like you're going to be able to control and not just control, you know, people get a level up sometimes in life or experience a glow up in life and they lose their mind. You know, they're not able to hand it, handle it. You know, you see a lot of people win the lottery and what happens, you know, you can go watch a show on, on on TV and they'll show you that the lottery ruined my life here, but I feel like that's not the case for somebody. Somebody here is disciplined. Someone is organized. Um, and somebody is been waiting for this shot here, um, to change their lives. And, and it's not just about changing your lives, but it's really here. I think really to, to see, to test you, your agility, your stamina, um, you as a leader, or you as handling something on your own for the first time and something even bigger coming out of that, coming from yourself, you know, from a pure place. Um, and I see that panning out for somebody here. You got the eight of wands. So this is some type of good news, travel, communication coming in for you here. And it's on a, a big level. It's on a, a grand, more grander scheme of things because it's the emperor. The Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups. After the Nine is the Ten. It don't get no grander than that. 
So kudos to you here. You know, you don't look like what you've been through and, you know, just thank the heavens for that, you know, and just make sure that you are watching your health as well. You know, take things in moderation, slow down on some of the things and the habits that you may be indulging in here. Okay. If you haven't already, because you're going to need to be. What's the word I'm looking for? When this change comes in, you're going to have more responsibility. So you're going to need to, I feel like, make a lot of changes here in your life as far as your health goes for a healthier you, you know, so that you're able to be here for the long haul and see things really pan out and, and come to fruition for you. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius Energy, Ten of Wands, Leo Energy, and the Seven of Wands. Here, I'll show you guys. Yeah, you get into a place where they're not even going to be able to reach you. The number you have dialed is no longer in service. Please check the number and dial again. <laughs> That's the vibe I'm getting off of this. Like, I'm not playing about this big Aries energy. Like, I got a new attitude. I see this for you here. And you're going to really need to do some heavy spiritual work, like some meditation, some cord cutting, um, you know, just make sure that you're going forward with pure energy, no baggage, no karmic ties, no soul ties. It's over with for all of that type of energy. What you bringing in, what you are attracting is something like I mentioned that's on a whole nother level. Go watch the reading on a, you're on a whole nother level that I did yesterday because each and every time I come back, even if it's with a different deck, y'all are on the same type of time and it's major. You don't have time to waste. Your time is very valuable, Aries, and I'm going to tell you that every day until you get it through your crown chakra. Ace of Swords, thank you, Spirit, because he knows it's the truth. You got a mental breakthrough coming through, baby. And right underneath that is the sun. Come through. We want all the shine, spirit, all of it. Did I not say get ready? Your life about to change, baby. If it's not already. And I also said this reading wasn't going to be long, so let me get ready and wrap it up. <laughs> all right, we're eight of a little eight minutes in. All right, come on, give me a few more spirit. I feel like you in good company, collective. You know, you always in good company with me. Let's just keep the good energy going. Let's keep the momentum going. We halfway through the year. Let's finish strong. You know, this is the last quarter. We got this. You know, we got the two of wands, Aries energy. Continue to take those risks. You know, do your research beforehand, but still don't be afraid. You know, there is no reward without risk. Um, and especially if it's investing in yourself, you can't lose, you know, you are a powerhouse. You're the emperor, emperor outside of an emperor comes an empire, whether that's something mom and pops small to you or a corporation start somewhere, mold it. It's a little piece of you that you putting out there into the atmosphere and it's you vibrating in your highest form here. Seven of cups here. You have so many different avenues and so many different abundant choices. I feel like that you could pull from so many different straws that spirit has for you to grasp at, man. You're so creative in so many different ways. And what makes you even more greater is like, I, I like to say, you don't have an act to follow. Everybody else follow behind you. And that alone speaks volumes, baby. So just know that, all right? You're not a little fish in a little pond. You know what I'm saying? You the big fish. 
You out there in the ocean. Where you belong. You free. Where you're open. Your ideas are endless. So live in that. Continue to. I expect nothing less. All right. I love you guys as usual. Um, go out there and be the rock star that spirit created you to be. You know, hit that like and subscribe button. I'll catch you later, guys. Ciao.